you like to hear a story? I have a very special story for you today. It's all about slowing down and learning to appreciate the world around you. It's called Slow Down Monkey and it's written by me, Jess French, and illustrated by Ifia Cow. Slow down, monkey. Swoop, grab, whoosh, swing. Monkey's flying through the trees, tearing through the forest on her jungle vine trapeze. She cries out, it's my birthday, for everyone to hear. I hope you're getting ready for the party of the year. She dashes past the dart frogs, who hop and croak, look out. So much to do, the monkey cries. No time to hang about. I need to find some music with a rocking jungle beat, some pretty decorations and a yummy cake to eat. She bursts in on her feathered friends who said they'd lend a hand and finds them in rehearsals for their funky forest band. They strum on stems, they drum on trees, each songbird big and small, crash, bang, squeak, crack. They don't sound good at all. She tries hard not to worry, zooming off to find the bear who promised he would make a cake for everyone to share. I've never baked before, he says, and something's not quite right. There's icky, sticky, yucky, nasty mud in every bite. Monkey rushes through the vines to make more preparations. She really hopes that tapirs had more luck with decorations. Oh, Monkey, I'm so sorry, says the tapir with a frown. I've tied my legs up in a knot and landed upside down. Monkey stops her forest rush. She's feeling much too sad. It's all gone wrong, she thinks aloud. My party will be bad. I've tried to make it perfect. I've tried to make it great. I've rushed and bounced and dashed and zoomed. But now it's far too late. Then, somewhere up above her, comes a rustling in the trees. She spots a creature moving like a gentle summer breeze. Hello, sloth, says Monkey. You're hanging very still. I'm always rushing everywhere and all you do is chill. Sloth looks up. He's very slow, no movement accidental. His hair is long, his face is kind. His voice is soft and gentle. Come up here, take your time, wipe away that frown. The key is to be patient, you just need to slow down. Please don't rush and panic, worry, huff or sigh. Your party will be perfect if you give these things a try. Look around the forest. Use your eyes to see the rainbow feathered parrots and the patterns on the trees. Breathe in through your nostrils. Take a great big sniff. Smell the orchid's perfume and the stink bug's nasty whiff. Use your ears to listen. Hear the wind that blows. Feel the branches in your hands and earth beneath your toes. Monkey takes the sloth's advice and slowly looks around. The forest seems to pop and ping from canopy to ground. You see, my friend, the wise sloth says, you didn't need to worry. Now, Go and find the things you missed when you were in a hurry.
Monkey helps untangle Tapir from the knotted vine. Oh, we don't need decorations. Look, these flowers are divine. Next, she finds the friendly bear who cannot raise a smile. What will we eat? He growls and grunts. The cake is oh so vile. Monkey says, let's breathe in deep. What can we find to munch? Ah, oh, these forest fruits smell nice and sweet. A perfect birthday lunch. Now, Monkey just needs music that will get her party grooving. She listens to the forest. And her body soon starts moving. The treetop songbirds flap their wings and burst out into song. It's party time, shouts Monkey, so come and dance along. Monkey and her friends arrive, though Sloth is rather late. They sing and dance and laugh and eat. Her birthday party's great. The mud feels squelchy round her toes. It splashes and it splatters. At last she sees her friends are here. And that's what really 